Hold on tight, Tesla fans, the much-anticipated FSD Beta V12 update is on the horizon, but will it encounter turbulence before reaching our dashboards? Recent news has cast a shadow of uncertainty on its rollout. In this video, we'll be dissecting the latest information surrounding FSD Beta V12, exploring the potential delay and what it means for the future of Tesla's self-driving ambitions. So buckle up and join us as we navigate the road ahead. But before starting the video, if you are new to our channel, do subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will never miss any updates in the future. Let's start the video. Elon Musk gave us a live demonstration of version 12 of the future of fully autonomous driving back in August of 2023. The neural network was a fully self-driving software system that promised to solve any problem. Complete autonomy wasn't meant to be a beta feature. Finally, it would be able to navigate itself from point A to point B and do intricate maneuvers and the team wouldn't need to explicitly train the software in any new skills. All they would need to do was feed it film and it would pick up knowledge from the greatest human drivers who were handpicked to train it. After more than six months, the release of full self-driving version 12 has been somewhat strange. To put things in perspective, three and a half years ago, Tesla chose a small group of people, some of whom seemed to sign up for the FSD beta program and test out the software. When Tesla first contacted a small number of these early testers, it stated, hey, this software is kind of scary. It can do the wrong thing at the worst time. You can therefore obtain this software and you know you can test it out if you're ready to take the chance, if you swear to pay close attention and if you agree to join the early access program for software. Just please exercise extreme caution since it has the potential to do bad things. I think that everyone accepted it, but perhaps some people chose not to. Over time, Tesla added a safety score and those users received frequent software updates for the self-driving program. Therefore, Tesla would grant you access to the full self-driving beta if your safety score was high enough. You could download it and the system did finally improve significantly after it was worked out, at least in my experience. The FSD beta was essentially open to anyone to use. With version 12, however, Tesla changed everything. More than 300,000 lines of code were removed and an end-to-end -end neural network is now used. The car may handle quite well, but Tesla isn't always aware of the exact process or reasoning behind its selections. We've thus kind of returned to a situation where, while the automobile is performing pretty well, there are still hazards, you know, risks associated with any driving, including human driving. As a result, Tesla chose to implement this gradually. At first, it was just for workers, which makes perfect sense and is how Tesla has operated for the majority of its existence. However, there weren't many public rollouts. Employees, original testers, safety score personnel, and finally everyone else seemed to follow the same pattern when it came to software updates. Previously, there was a group of original testers who were pre-safety score and then there was kind of these different tiers of safety score testers who got in early and got in the middle. Regretfully, they recently announced on X that the release of version 12 has been pushed back for, well, as long as possible because of a particular occurrence. Should the update not have been sent out by then, they will be releasing more details later. Naturally, it is now impossible to pinpoint the precise incidents. Perhaps after three years, they will release a report that will provide us with more details, but there was a particular post on X that caught my attention right away. It was an account from Arthur, and he had posted something about an FSD Beta 12 accident. More details would hopefully be available soon or something like that. Later, he posted a video of the incident, in which he made it clear that, although it was a minor incident with no injuries, there was a collision on version 12. This is what immediately sprang to mind, therefore he uploaded FSD Beta 12, the version with the small parking lot. Scuffle while Jolie was navigating a busy parking lot in the search of a spot, another ex-user recently recounted his experience with a small mistake using FSD technology in a parking lot. Before that, Joey had a flawless experience with version 12, made a low speed bend and unintentionally struck the left rear end of a parked automobile. No one was hurt in the incident. Many will quickly point out that he publishes a video with this that contains footage from the century. We can't be positive that FSD Beta was ever involved in this occurrence because there isn't a recording from the inside of the cabin that demonstrates the FSD Beta is or is not active. It is correct that there is no proof that FSD Beta was enabled in this instance, yet the message sounds sensible and everyone who has responded to it has seemed to understand that this was FSD Beta. Since this was an FSD Beta, you do have a slight collision here and the fact that the individual did not act quickly has an impact on everyone. 
Many people will miss out on version 12 if you don't act quickly enough to stop these things from happening. It is highly unlikely that Tesla will remove version 12 from any vehicles that are currently equipped with it, but those of us who are waiting either saw this incident and, since you agreed to share your personal information with them when you joined the program, they have all the internal data and are working to fix it, or they have paused the rollout while they look into it and try to figure out what to do. They are undoubtedly already working on a solution and trying to determine how to prevent this from happening in the future. Further details that Tesla Scope has disclosed include the fact that the most recent FSD Beta version 12 upgrade was halted in its tracks because of concerns with auto speed modulation that were brought to light. This only caused discomfort. Although there were no safety critical maneuvers, Tesla was addressing the issue head on and working to find a quick solution. They also state that, regrettably, a particular crash happened just under a week after version V12.2.1 was first deployed. I believe they are referring to V12.2.1 required a thorough internal inquiry the next day. The explanation for the unsuccessful update distribution was communicated to Telescope on the morning of this article. In other words, Tesla made an effort to release software updates at this time and it appears that they plan to do so roughly every two weeks to stay up to speed with the development of version 12. Although I'm sure Elon is quietly pressuring them to simply update and improve the system, it seems reasonable that they need to conduct additional research in light of this incident. Before they can carry out more software updates, find a solution, the most unfortunate thing about all of this is that if the NHTSA gets involved, things might get delayed significantly. Currently, it's difficult to pinpoint the exact cause of the issue, if it is occurring, but we do know that the version 12 rollout has been unusually strange and slow. Elon Musk and Tesla haven't responded to our inquiries very often, and even when they have, he sets objectives that he claims will be completed in two weeks, a month, or whatever time frame he chooses, only to have them fall short of expectations. Hence, any correspondence we do receive from Elon, either directly or through various Tesla channels, is essentially like, oh, that sounds great, but it never actually happens. At this point, we are just waiting for our FSD updates in the meantime. I hope you liked the video. Let us know in the comments section below what you think about the delay in the rollout of the Tesla FSD Beta V12. Don't forget to give our video a thumbs up.